Okay, now we have the media rolls or the supply rolls back on the machine and we're going to show how to load the laminating film or threading is what it's more commonly called. Uh, we're just going to show this in, in this one video because when you load or thread the top laminate or top material it's going to be the same no matter what process you're going to do on the other side or whether you're going to feed prints, you're going to feed paper or sleds, it's always the same for loading the laminate. So the first thing you want to do is open up the nip. The nip is the area where the rolls come together and touch. So the knob on the side here raises and lowers the rollers and you're going to want to raise those to the highest position. The next thing you're going to want to do is attach the laminate and the release liner to the rewind tube. To do this I use a little trick called a bow tie and it's really just a piece of masking tape. Take a piece of masking tape about four or five inches long and you hold it about a half inch apart twist it in the middle and that makes you a little piece of uh, tape that you can use to tape the release liner to the rewind tube. I'll just stick that right here. I'm going to unwind a little bit of laminate. And I'm going to use the bow tie to attach the laminate and the release liner to the rewind tube. Okay, next we're going to separate the laminate from the release liner and bring it down over the main roll here. And then we're going to thread that material through the machine. In order to do that, you're going to need what we call a threading board. This is uh, <clears throat> a piece of material that you're going to use to thread the film. In this case, it's nothing fancy. It's actually a, uh, the side of a carton that the material comes in. So you're going to need a threading board. What you want to do is pull the laminating film away from the release liner. And you're going to be careful not to pull the release liner off of the rewind tube. And I do find that it's easiest to separate the laminate and get it started right here where it's been taped. So we'll pull that down over the roll. Trying to be careful not to get it stuck to anything. And then we just want to tuck it down behind the safety bar here. Next you're going to want to take your threading board and use that to get the laminate or the laminate started through the rolls. You're simply just going to push that through until it gets the laminate started. Once you get the laminate, laminate started through the main rolls, then you're going to apply the pressure. Turn the hand wheel on the side until you feel it contact the threading board. At that point you're going to have your machine on forward with relatively slow speed. I've got it on speed 3 here and I'm going to use the foot pedal to start feeding that material through. At this point you may want to take up the excess slack in the release liner. And at that point you're loaded and ready to go ready to attach your bottom material or whichever method you decide to use.